We will now demonstrate the operation of our pneumatic gas booster pump unit. Connect the clean nitrogen gas source to the gas source inlet port. Connect the air compressor to the driven air inlet port of this gas booster pump. Add lubricator appropriation oil non-viscous oil to oil sprayer, which is used to lubricate the compressed air. Slowly open the gas cylinder's valve. The gas source pressure gauge shows the pressure value of the gas cylinder source. Check and close the gas pressure relief valve. Check and rotate the drive air pressure regulating valve to zero bars. Open gas source input needle valve. Open high pressure gas output needle valve. The two pressure gauges show the same gas source pressure value. Turn on the driven air switch. Slowly adjust the drive air pressure regulating valve. Now the booster pump begins to pressurize. Continue to rotate the drive air pressure regulating valve to increase the drive air pressure. In this video, the ratio of high pressure output pressure to drive air pressure for this pump is 40 to 1. If the output filling gas pressure that we need is 240 bars, we can regulate drive air pressure at 6 bars. Meantime, you can observe the output value on the high pressure gas pressure gauge. Now, the output pressure of the pump is 240 bars. When the pressurization is completed, adjust the drive air pressure regulator to two bars. Close gas source inlet valve. Open high pressure gas output valve. Slowly open gas pressure release valve to release the high pressure gas, which between the high pressure outlet end and the filling cylinder. until the pressure value on the pressure gauge is zero bars. At this time, the gas source pressure gauge still shows the pressure value. Close the valve of the nitrogen source cylinder. Open the gas source inlet valve. Relieve residual pressure in the pipeline. Before dismantling the hose, it must be ensured that the high pressure gas in the pump and high pressure hose is released. Then close the air compressor. Open the driven air switch to consume the remaining drive air pressure. Finally remove the drive air hose and gas source hose.